Hello, hello everyone. Hello, Carla. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Chair. Hello, 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 Iris. Christina. Good evening. Hey, Daniel, hello. where are you now? Hello, Christina. Good evening. Where are you now, hello, Daniel? Hello. Hey, congrats, because you are very, very disciplined. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock, right? Hey, did you finish the activities in the platform? I, I could see that um, some of you uh, hadn't done it, uh, but I hope that you have already finished. Hello, it is. Hello, Evelyn. Daniel, activate your camera. Remember, it's very important to see you and to interact with a cameras on. Hello, Alejandro. Welcome back, Alejandro. You let us wait a little bit so that we can move with the, with the new topic. It's not going to be that easy. You see a lot of info about the topic that we are starting tonight. So I hope Good that... Evening, teacher. Hello, Vicente. Welcome back. Thank you very much, teacher. Good to see you in the class, as always, on time. Good to see you too, teacher. Okay, say hello to Daniel. Daniel was just asking about Daniel, you. Daniel, where are you right now? <laughs> Maybe he's driving. He always driving. He is driving. He has the supermarket. He is at <laughs> Metro Centro. All time. <laughs> yeah, he's going out with his wife. <laughs> Lot of activities, right? Lot of activity. That he's very busy. Yeah, he's very busy, right? And he's having English classes, he's going to the supermarket. <laughs> and he's doing mm -hmm. a lot of activity. It's a lot of activity. But, but he's a good student. Yeah, he he actually is a good student. He is a good student. Uh, he connects. Hello, Brandy. Welcome back. Evening. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Bertie. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, let us wait a little bit. I only have eight students connected. You know, it's eight o'clock, and I think the majority of the people will get connected as soon as possible so that we can start with the class. Okay, good. But meanwhile, hey, uh, well, I think Brandy prepared something, right, for everybody. It's about... Um, Brandy... <laughs> What do you mean by? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, because you know the last week you, you I assigned a homework assignment, right? A homework mm -hmm. that yeah. was about a, a, a an invention, right? That has Very helped good. that has helped uh, people up to now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. you see, I only have uh, ten people connected, so I will start. Okay, okay, now yes, welcome back and let me see. Let Thank us start you. with the with, with the homework. Okay. I I I like to check homework assignments all the time. So if you have the information with you, that's fantastic. If you if you have prepared a presentation, that's really nice. But if you haven't done it, don't worry, you just pick. Okay. Should okay. Uh Brandy will begin then. Okay, Brandy. Okay. After but Brandy, you will choose. We're going to listen to four people, okay? Only four. Four or five, no more than that. And after Brandy, okay. I think Vicente once. Okay. Okay, so, but uh, after Vicente, Vicente, we have Jessica. Very good, Jessica. That's fantastic. So, we have three people so far. We have Brandy. Second is Vicente. The third person is... Uh, no, no, Jessica. Then we have Alejandro. Okay, so let us start, Brandy. Okay. You are the lucky one who will start with the information tonight. Okay, everybody, pay attention because I will ask questions about their presentation, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. In my case, I was looking for some gadget. You know what is gadget? Okay, I will. Teacher will let you know later, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, what, what's, a, what's a gadget, Brandy? So a gadget. Yeah, what's a gadget? It's, a, it's something that is a uh, help for you and like uh, the cell phone chains, like uh, the car chains every every year, but 
uh, the gadget is something like uh, the new generation, like uh, tells us the smartphone like when they begin it and all this, uh, there is a ga gadget, something that you can use at uh, the kitchen. Uh, this is a gadget, it's okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, In so my nice. presentation, I have many things. <laughs> if you can see, this is a gadget. It's like a little fan, you can turn on. That's, yeah. that's a cooler? Wow, that's fantastic. Hey, how much is it? <laughs> Where we can buy it? Where can we buy it? That's right. <laughs> it's because, you know, it's a, little, it's a kind of part of here. Yeah. It's something, it's, uh, I told you, it's something gadget that I have here. Okay, that's something she that is- air conditioning in her neck. Yeah, that's right. So many people ask me the first time when I bought this, uh, told me your uh, like uh, earphone. No, it is not. It's a turn. Can you see? And then when they put their hands here, they blow. Mm -hmm. This is one gadget. The other gadget, that maybe many people know what is that. Uh, my watch. Ah, yeah. Before it was just uh, watch, just for watch the time and everything. But right now, this is a gadget, and every year that this is an old, this is more old than this. Mm -hmm. This is new, but it's uh, something cheaper. You can okay. buy for twelve. But what happened with, with that, uh, heart watch? If you have problem with your heart, they can you can see your uh, blood pressure. Uh, you can see if you are a. Uh, if you practice uh, like uh, you are a runner or you walk or you want to see how many steps you did during during the, the hour or two hours that you practice something like a, some exercise, you can see how many steps, how many kilometers or mm -hmm. how many minutes you run and you can see the blood pressure, you Good can brain. see uh, the, your heartbeat and uh, how many calories you lose. So, see, this is kind of gadget. It's a mobile doctor. Yeah. So it's healthy if you have for, for, uh, if you have problem with you, your heartbeat. This is show you when you will have like a problem too. Your blood pressure. There is something important that you can see. This is another thing. <laughs> it's a gadget. Maybe you see. Maybe you don't. Uh, this is a tracker. What? A tracker? Tracker. UPS tracker? No, we don't know what it is. If you, Show have, if you have, maybe you think your wife or your husband is cheating you, this is a tracker. <laughs> it's something that I sell and I say, I, I will show you because <laughs> it's something important. I saw some like a GPS, but you can use on your nails. Uh -huh. It's for your security. So, uh, but like GPS. Yeah, this is a truck with GPS. This is for a car or for bike. Mm -hmm. Oh my. And it's so small. Excellent. It's good if you wanna, if, imagine if you have expensive car, if you park the car in many, like uh, you go to the downtown and you know that those places like uh, Soya Bank or those places are dangerous. So you can use a GPS if somebody stole your car. You for can, motorcycle too? You can track, yeah, for bicycle. So that's my presentation. You have How much? How much? The, G, the GPS was <laughs> a kind of interesting because you said, if you if you uh, don't trust on your husband or your your <laughs> wife, so that's good for you. Buy it, and it is cheap, right? Yeah, that's right. It's cheap. How much there is it? Uh, I sold it for twenty five dollar, and I sold the other was cheaper than this. It was fifteen dollar, but was uh, like a kind of the watch, just this mm -hmm. part. Okay. Fantastic, Brandy. Thank you for and the, the other info. thing that you have in the neck, the air condition. Uh, this is if you buy in United States, like a $35. Mm -hmm. 
35. And this is a good one. You can buy something like for the half of price, but it, it's like uh, you only going to use like a two or three times and okay, we have to buy another one. Thank you pretty much. I clap your effort. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Vicente, what's new? Um, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the, the guy who invented, invented the, the cell phone or mobile phone. And it's a large history, but I will, uh, I will read a few lines only. Then I will share the, the picture of, of that guy. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the cell phone or mobile phone was invent invented by Martin Cooper in 1973. He was born in Chicago, Illinois, USA. He was an electrical engineer and uh, sci scientist. How do you say scientific teacher? Scientist, okay. And he was the first man who made the first cell phone call. Um, he grew up in Chicago. Also, he was in the army for, for four years. And in 1974, he got a job in Motorola company and he helped to create several articles, articles mainly the first portable radio, and it was for, for the police. In Motorola company, he uh, assume, assumed, is, is that correct? Assumed the direction of communication system in 1970. Then he lead the investigate, investigation about of mobile, communication and after years working he created the first mobile portable radios radio phone in 1973 that's it teacher that's all hey that's all and i will share that thank you and i will share the the picture of 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 this of this man all right uh, meanwhile, you share the, the picture. So I think Jessica is, is the lady who wants to present, right? So be ready. And after Jessica, we're going to have Alejandro's participation. Okay. And then we're going we're gonna to finish with this part of the class. Okay. Ready, teacher. Okay. Jessica is ready. Um, I would like to talk about the lady that helped to invent the Wi-Fi. Her name was Edwin Eva Maria Kisler, and she was born in November 9, 1914. She was an Austrian-born American film actress and inventor. Lamar has been described as one of the greatest movie actresses of all time. Although Lamar had no formal training and was primarily self-taught, she tinkered in her spare, spare time on various hobbies and ideas, which included traffic stoplight and tablet that would dissolve in water to create a carbonated drink. She developed a frequency hopping signal might prevent the torpedo's radio widen system from being tracked or jumped. Although the USA Navy, Navy didn't adopt the technology until the 1960s, the principles of their work are incorporated into Bluetooth and GPS technology and are similar to metals used in legacy version of CDMI and Wi-Fi. This work led to their induction into the National Inventors 
all of fame in 2014. That's it. Doing your best effort and to get some vocabulary, right? Some ideas out there. Alejandro. And then we finish. After Alejandro finishes, we're going to move on with the topic for tonight. You see, this the topic for tonight is quite important and very useful when speaking in English. Alejandro. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. It, I'm going to talk about um, the technology using in the government, for example. Uh, the topic is the technology that is against criminals. Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, the government has placed the smart cameras that are capable of identifying vehicles that have been stolen and the alarm or sensor is activated when the camera is at each intersecting of the street or road. Capturing the license plate, the license plate number of the stalled vehicle and that is how the police is, and that is how the police are alerted and go after the vehicle. According to the information and, and service carried out by the government, it has come to reduce vehicles thrift since they help to identify then a B detected quickly is a very advanced technology. Is uh, uh, I, I was talk about, um, uh, for example, now the government put the 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 light um, the lights in the street right or cross or on the cross in the street uh, using the cameras, teacher. Rafael, I think you you want to be the last right to participate, so you will have your opportunity. Rafael, go ahead. Uh, Okay. Uh, Thank you, Alejandro. Now or later? No, but now. Later. Now, let's go over it now. Okay. Uh, my presentation is about the fire. Um, how to produce and control fire has been one of the best invention for mankind to this day. The analysis of archaeology archaeological remains, it suggests that Homo erectus knew about fire more than a million and a half years ago. He, although he was able to handle it, he was not able to generate it. A group of scientists from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem through the study of fossil remains found in the Jordan River Basin, they have been able to estimate that it was not until about 790,000 years ago when they achieved continuous control of the use of it. It's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rafael. That okay. was really nice. I, I will provide some observations, but those observations will be at the end of the class. Okay, we need to go over the activity tonight. Okay, and you see, we have a new topic, right? So the, the we are what we are. What's the the number of the week we are in today? Week number. Okay. Week number. Which? Four. 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 No, this is the third one, right? It's number three. Number three. Yeah, Four. number three. Okay, so and we are we're going to go over the, the 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 fourth part, right? The next week is going to be about the fifth part in the in the last examination, right? The last test. Okay. But 
Uh, over here, we're gonna go over a topic that is, is quite important. Okay, I wonder if there is a person who wants to help me to read. Lesson objective? Me, me, me. Oh, okay. okay, 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 go ahead. Pra pra okay. Good night. Um, practice asking and answering question in English using the present perfect and simple past tenses. All right. In lesson, English teacher Joy Sands explained when use simple past versus the present perfect tense, depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever, and describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This oh. lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Fantastic, thank you very much. So, you know, actually what we're going to go over is about present perfect and simple past tense. Simple past. Have that is basically, yeah, that's, that's basically what we're gonna right. study uh, tonight, okay? But, you know, we're gonna go, we're going to do it the same way we have done it so far. I think it's, it, it has worked quite well. Okay, you like to present the video to discuss the, informa discuss the information there. Then I assigned a, an activity so that you can, you can put, in, put the information into practice. And I think we have been uh, working uh, quite well in this, um, in this form. So I will play the video, take notes, write down questions as, as you wish. Okay, if you do not understand um, something that the guy will mention in the in the video, so you can ask, right? So you okay. will see the difference between present perfect tense and simple past. Now, so you can see over here, this is a question with present perfect. But what is present perfect? You will see, you will notice about it in a couple of minutes. So here we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never <laughs> heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me Okay, now let me see. Uh, Elizabeth, what's the conversation all about? What did you listen to in the conversation? I listened that the food over the uh, is like I not remember say. Uh, Caracol. Snail. Okay, listen, listen. Okay, listen carefully. Every single time we we play a track that's uh, listening or, a, or I mean something that you need to uh, have to pay it's special it's attention. It's yeah, you have to get accustomed to take 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 notes, okay, and have general idea about it. I will play it again. 
Okay. Okay. And then take, take notes because I will ask, hey, what was the conversation all about? Okay. What do you remember? Okay. So I will I will play the track again so that you can take notes. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Did ready. You? Okay. Yeah. Later, remember, my question will be, hey, what's the conversation all about? Hi, everyone. Okay. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay. Hey, have you ever tried fried brains? <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm my there. god. It is too horrible. <laughs> no, I've never seen it. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I want to listen to Sandra Noemi. Okay, Sandra Noemi, what was the conversation all about? Sandra, Sandra, are you there? Sandra Noemi? Hello, Sandra. Maybe he, she don't Nobody have can audio. Come. Maybe she's she's problem with with the audio, with right? The audio, with, the, maybe. with the microphone. Cecilia, microphone, right. what's the conversation all about? Um, they talk about exotic food. Um, the dish. Is a uh, lamb ta tajin. Uh, the man say don't like this dish. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the way the the, the waiter um, or the person asked the question about food? Have you ever tried? Ah, very good. Uh, Brandy, can you type that question in the chat so that everybody can see it, please? Meanwhile, have I will ask. Eaten? Yeah, no, so type it in the chat so we can see what you are talking about. Anna Ivania, what is the conversation all about? Um, the, um, they is speaking of our um, exotic folks. Uh, she uh, she say uh, 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 to eat uh, the the meals and he know uh, it, it, it sorry uh, she um it, um oh, sorry <laughs> um, is uh, try um say say him um try the 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 meals um it's delicious <laughs> she uh, um say uh, it's a delicious a delicious meals thank you very much okay thank you very much so we're gonna go over it a hey, in the chat Look in the chat. I typed the question, right? It's because you 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 are typing try in a 
in a, in a base form, but actually well, you will notice that try it is going to be in the past participle form. I will I will explain what try or, or what are the form of the verbs that we are gonna use with present perfect. Okay, like eat, a eaten, like try, 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 like. Hey, Fernando said he has problems. Okay, okay, very good. Thank perfect, you. Perfect. Have you ever tried? That's the way, Gladys. That's the way. Daniel, what? Daniel, what's going on with you? Daniel. Daniel, any question? I accept that I can type, teacher. I will talking, but when I will, somebody say, can you type something? No, I can't pronounce, but I have problems <laughs> when I when you when you when you write down okay no i mean that's why we are over here because we are gonna learn uh, hey daniel is the idea. <laughs> yes actually you 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 have the idea hey i can see that daniel is raising his hand all the time but i don't know i have a question teacher okay uh, daniel go ahead what's part and if you say have you ever been this uh, is only you in a question yeah, I mean, it, it all depends, right? Because you can say, where have you been? Where have you been lately? Or, but if you say, have you ever been? It's because uh, they are asking if you have uh, visited one, one place at least one time. Okay. Okay. Have where you the... ever seen the rain? <laughs> have you ever seen Can the rain? Like a song. I, I, <laughs> think, I think that is a song, right? Yeah, have you ever seen the rain? Yeah. Okay, now everybody, let us get down let to Let me this. present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. Okay, I will ask one person because everybody is paying attention, right? Okay. Everybody, I think everybody is paying attention. So that's why I will ask. Okay, uh, let me see. Hey, Mary, Maria del Carmen, when do we use simple pass according to what the person said? Do you want to listen to it again? Yes, please. Okay, I want you to pay special attention, people. This is for everybody. This is quite important. You see, we're going to compare two tenses, and comparing tenses is not that easy, okay? Okay. Now, simple pass. When do we use it? Let for? me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple pass for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. All right. Now, yes, right? Now, let me see. I will choose somebody else but Mary, okay? Or if you want to participate, Mary? Yes. Yeah, okay. When do we use simple pass, Mary? Um, we use the simple pass for completed events at the, the definite time in the past. All right, and simple. We use the present perfect for events within, within a time period up to the present. Okay, that's fantastic. Pretty good. So simple pass is in the past. So it's done. Right? So yes. if I ask you, hey, what did you do yesterday? What would you answer, Gladys? What did you do yesterday? I went to the church in the morning and in the afternoon or in the evening. I went to to eat pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> you ate pupusas, right? Mm -hmm. so, I think those activities are over, right? They be they belong to the past. Yes or no? Yes. They belong yes. to the past, right? So and I will ask another person, Cecilia. Cecilia, what did you do yesterday? Went to the supermarket and I take a siesta. You take or you took? Took. Took. So ah. I took 
rest. Okay. Rest. 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 And now. In the ah. afternoon, I, I, um, I got, went to the cinema. And you went to the cinema, good. And all those activities belong to the past. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, they, they are they done, right? The they belong to the, 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 the activities are the over. Past. Yeah, that's right. Evelyn, what did you do yesterday? Uh, I went to chores with my family and watch movies and so let's and that's it right that okay now now i can see that you have the simple past very clear i mean you don't have problems with simple past right actually as the guy mentioned we use it uh, when having completed events at a definite time in the past on the other hand, we have present perfect that have that the present perfect actually has different usages, right? I mean, you can use present perfect in different ways, but one of those ways is that you can use it for events within a time period up to the present. Okay. And let us listen, let us listen to have a clear idea about this tense. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. When, when do we use present perfect, people? For events within a time period. Aha, uh -huh. but that, that is the info that's over here, right? For events but within a time period up to the present, but the, the person mentioned something else. And something that you didn't finish, you have to continue. Okay, an activity that starting in the, started in the past and continues up to the present, right? For example, uh, you have been studying English since the last the last month. Have you, I mean, I think you have been studying English since the last month. Yeah. 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 We have. You have studied yeah. English, right? I think that yeah, I have. Good. Yes, now, I have. Okay, so I will oh, type yeah, it in yeah, the, yeah. look at the chat. You have studied English since last month okay can now, i say i've been working since yesterday yeah i have worked since yesterday i have worked. yeah actually it's because you know you can say i have been i have been working since yesterday it's all right but right now we are going to focus our mind in present perfect that is present perfect continue now as you can see in the chat I have studied English since January. Okay, as you can see, it started in the past, okay, but you continue doing so in the present. So okay. that is one of the differences. I wonder if you can get the idea. Because if you, if you, if you sometimes did it, or kind of. Yeah, actually it's like this. Por ejemplo, yes. si, eh, les preguntaba en inglés, ¿qué es lo que hiciste ayer? Fui a la iglesia, fui a comer pupusa, o comí pupusa, o que es algo que ya terminó. Eso se quedó yes. en el ayer. Pero también les ponía el ejemplo de, you have studied English since last eh, month. Has estudiado inglés desde el mes pasado. O sea, inició en el And pasado. And continue. Y todavía están estudiando inglés. Entonces, ahí, eso es presente perfecto. Y ya, ya la persona que está presentando el video va, va a poner por acá el pattern, el, 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 
el patrón de, a, a seguir de cómo, cómo debemos a, escribir pra, presente perfecto. Que okay, pasado ya lo sabemos, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos con presente perfecto. Y ya luego voy a asignar una actividad para que lo pongamos en práctica. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried him last month. Okay, the guy, the information that the guy is presenting is a little bit different from, from the info I told you at the beginning, right? Because uh, having this question is like, Have you ever eaten snails? ¿Alguna vez has probado los caracoles? Ah, then you answer, yes, I have. Yes, I have. If you have done it, then you say, yes, I have. But if you haven't done it, then you say, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, oh, here you have it, the negative form. Okay? No, I haven't. No, but I if, haven't. Yeah. But if you want to provide extra information, extra information or further information, then you can use simple past, right? Because I, uh, have you ever tried, uh, have you ever eaten <laughs> snail? Yes, I have. But then the person clarifies when I tried mm -hmm. simple past, then mm -hmm. last month. So it's over, right? But that doesn't mean that the person cannot try it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what, that's what you need to have a, You need to have the, the idea as clearly as possible. Okay, let us listen to the guy once again. Sorry to interrupt. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. So they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that We're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they. And we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have. Um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever. 
and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as, yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. Yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So. If you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like, did you like, did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can, you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. 
And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten etc? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Okay, so you will answer Mexican those food. questions. Yeah, you will answer these questions tomorrow. Okay. And okay. just before before finishing the class, I need to check the list of things in. I need to assign the homework assignment, right? <laughs> but this one. Yeah, I this, think this is the homework. No, yeah, this is one. Okay, so this <laughs> is for tomorrow. Okay, this is only one. I will assign only... three. Okay. What you came three. with all the power today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, do you need more? Yeah, no. right. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I think three of them is enough. Okay, this is number three. one, right? You need to answer these questions in okay. your notebook, right? So for tomorrow. Hey, the okay, second good. one, you know, I, I want you to learn the pattern of a present perfect tense. And as you can notice over here, we're gonna use the past participle of the verbs, regular and irregular verbs. Okay, so that means that we need to memorize as many verbs as possible, all right? So I will, I don't know if you can get a, 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 a list of verbs, verbs that are in the base form, in the past form, and in the past participle form, and if you can get it, uh, you can get the meaning of them, so that will be really nice. And start memorizing. Okay, we'll I will switch into Spanish because well I, I will I will uh let, give me one second. I will check the list of attendance. I will stop sharing over here. I will check the list of attendance and then I will I will clarify about the homework. Okay, because okay, okay good. Okay. Okay, give me one second. Okay, Anna Ivania. Present teacher. Ana Yancy. Angel. Hey, I didn't see Angel. I didn't listen to Angel tonight. Is Angel there? Angel? Angel didn't get into the class. Wow. Brandy. Present. Cecilia Jamilet. Present. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Daniel Alejandro. I saw that Daniel, right? Daniel was over here. Maybe he's facing problems with the microphone, but I saw he was in the class. Diana Stephanie. Diana Stephanie Cortez. Elena Noemi. Elena. Okay, Elena. Uh, Evelyn Susana. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Gladys Mavi. Present, I'm here. All right. Uh, Iris Concepcion. Present teacher. Okay, Jessica Alejandra. Present teacher. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Good. Kevin Alexander. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Good. Oscar Alejandro Pacheco. Present teacher. All right. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi Hernandez. Present. Okay, Sandra is over here. And uh, Vicente. Here, teacher. Janira. Uh, I am here. Excellent. Pretty good. So. I will mention the people I, I didn't notice. Uh, uh, they were in the class, okay? Angel. Es una sorpresa que Ángel no está en clase, él siempre está. Eh, Diana Stephanie, Elena Noemí, eh, Kevin Alexander, and that's it, okay? 
Okay, so I think it's over with the list of things. And I, now I will I will tell you exactly what I need you to do for tomorrow, okay? Eh, para el día de mañana, bueno, ya tienen las preguntas, ¿verdad? Esas preguntas ahí están en el video. Las contestan, ¿ok? Y si quieren dar este, más información, ya saben cómo hacerlo. Ahí en el video está la explicación, ¿verdad? Eh, pueden usar pasado simple. Lo otro que sí quiero estar muy, muy... Eh, quiero estar seguro que, que ustedes están aprendiendo verbos. Es que necesito que se busquen una lista de verbos en forma base en pasado y en pasado participio. Ok, si por ejemplo decimos eat, el verbo comer, eat, el pasado es? Eight. 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 Y el pasado Eight. participio? Entonces, vaya, eat, comer, eat, comió, eaten, comido, comido, comido. Ok. Entonces, si ustedes se fijan en presente perfecto, vamos a usar pasado participio del verbo. Y este, lo que sucede es que los, regu los regulares, ya sabemos que todos, todos eh, terminan en ED, en pasado. Y uh -huh. lo mejor de todo es que en pasado participio también terminan en ED. O sea que si usted se sabe el pasado de un verbo, se sabe el pasado participio al mismo tiempo. Se escriben igual, se pronuncian igual. Pero con los verbos irregulares, no. Eso sí hay que memorizárselos. ¿Ok? Entonces, okay. si alguien puede, o consigue una lista en PDF o Word, como, como ustedes prefieran, eh, de verbos, por lo menos unos 200 verbos. ¿Qué? Por lo... ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? No, no, no se lo van a aprender de un solo, ok. Ah, Yo creo que, miren, les voy a dejar de tarea, pues, aunque ya no estén conmigo, pero sí se les voy a dejar de tarea que se los aprendan, porque yo no sé cuándo sí. los voy a volver a encontrar después de este nivel. Y les voy a pedir esa tarea. Así que van a tener que un mes para aprendérselos, y este, pero se los aprenden, porque si no, no, van, no vamos a avanzar, ok. Ok. Este okay. se los aprenden en forma base, bien pronunciado, pasado y pasado participio. Ok. This is a nice challenge, teacher. Sí, por lo menos mm -hmm. mañana voy a chequear que se puedan. ¿Cuántos? Ustedes pongan el número, vaya. Ten. 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 Cinco. Cinco, dice Daniel. No, no sea ingrato, Daniel. Va, Bye, que nadie gane, 15. <risa> Que nadie gane, no. 15. Wow. Ok, 15. 15 para mañana y que sean irregulares, irregulares. Ok, va, esa okay. es la segunda. Y la tercera. No more. Y la, no, no, la tercera es la siguiente. Miren, que ustedes hagan su propia comparación del, del presente perfecto con el, pasa, con, el, perdón, con el pasado simple. O sea, yo quiero que en un documento ustedes lo plasmen, cómo lo visualizan, ¿ok? Y que se animen a explicarnos lo mañana. Teacher, can you repeat the, the last part, please? La, the last part es acerca de hacer su propia comparación de pasado simple con presente perfecto. It's just that you don't understand because you, you say everything in Spanish. We don't understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Daniel, I'm sorry. You know, uh, what I want you to do is to compare, okay? <laughs> to, to, hey, create a, to create a document, right? In which you can um, create like a, a, a mini presentation on, uh, on sharing what are the differences between present perfect tense and simple past tense and that's it, okay? You will take no more than two minutes with your presentation. What I want you to see is that you Clear, have... Daniel. <laughs> Clear, Daniel. Clear. All All right. Right. <laughs> what I want, what like I want, chocolate. Yeah, what I want to see <laughs> is that you have a very clear idea about both tenses. Okay. okay. That's everything for tomorrow. Okay. So uh, I wonder if you have any question, uh, a comment, or I don't know. If you want to include something else to the class, that would be fantastic. That's it. 
how much is the AC, the neck, necklace AC? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Brandy, that's, that's Brandy. A, a, a really Where nice I can buy it. gadget, right? Where I can buy it? Downtown United States. How much is oh, it? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very near. <laughs> Let me see. There is somebody who ha who hasn't talked tonight. Okay. Let me see. Uh, raise your hand if you haven't participated tonight. Quien no participó esta noche? Carla. Okay. Carla es, es seguro. Daniel es seguro que ah, mañana no, van mañana van a anoten ahí en el chat por favor. Quién es otro? <laughs> Daniel, el primero. With picture. Yeah, Daniel, el primero. <laughs> Carla, the first Carla va a continuar. The first victim. And, ¿Quién más I no like participó ahora? Angel, because he's not. Angel was not over here. What's up? No lo, no lo vamos a sacrificar porque well, no vamos care. a saber qué hacer. I don't care you ask who didn't participate. <laughs> I don't care. So who else? Okay, we have Daniel, we have Carla and Ivania participate. Yeah, Ivania, I think Ivania did tonight. Daniel tomorrow will be driving <laughs> in a oh. no, in I think I think Ruth, right? Around Ruth. San Salvador. No, so, we have two Rafael. Which one don't didn't participate? Ah, the Rafael Cruz Amaya. Rafael Cruz. <laughs> So, Mr. Amaya, the presentation for the, the two. You, you need to be ready with you the three of them. Maybe Rafael. Okay. The three of them. Okay. okay. So, I uh, didn't participate, teacher. Eh, eh. Okay. So, you will do it tomorrow, cool. Brandy. <laughs> okay. So, that was fantastic. It's a pleasure for me to be over here. Let me see. If there is okay. somebody over Thank here for much. tomorrow. We have. Okay. Daniel says, me for tomorrow. So you said that you are the first victim. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fernando Alberto says that he didn't participate. So remember, uh, Fernando Alberto for tomorrow, people. En route. So, uh, teacher, I have a question from the homework. Tell me, Fernando. Uh, the homework is presentation the este, strange houses. No. No. no, no, it's not about it. It's strange houses was yeah, it was week. it was yes, it was the last uh hope from the last week. For for tomorrow, uh -huh. what I want you to do is to have a comparison between present simple, uh, I'm sorry, past simple and present perfect simple. Ah, okay, yeah, I about, understand. Yeah, about the topic we started tonight. O sea que ahora, no, ahora hubo una persona que nos mostró ese topic. Mañana quiero que algunos de ustedes nos lo, nos lo muestren, como ustedes nos lo pudieran explicar. Pueden ver el video, pueden buscar otros videos, pueden buscar otra información, otro, otros ejemplos. Eh, la sí, cuestión es I, de que... Can I write, write the information in a page? Yeah, you can do it in a Word document, in PowerPoint presentation, okay? It's, it will be really nice, but you will present the information on here. Okay, teacher, thank you for uh, explicar la, la tarea. <laughs> All right, for clarifying. Okay, people, it's Good. been a pleasure. See you okay, tomorrow. You Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, Vicente. Daniel, see you. See you, Randy. See you, Rafa. Bye. Randy, see you, Randy. Bye. Everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.